Show us the nails. Don't get a close up of my nails. No. I, listen, I've been on a roll. Like, I'm gonna do like this. But I'm, we see a pop of color. Yeah. What was the impetus for it? Expression. Expression. Yeah, expression. You know, I'm a, I'm creative. I'm expressive. And there's so many ways to do that. Your nails look better than mine. Don't do that. Don't do that. They do. Don't do that. So when are we getting the new manicure? You know, I'm work. I, I'm, I'm working. On, I'm thinking about like I'm actually thinking about jumping into the nail line. Like, oh really? I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Like I've been in it so long, and I'm like, you know what? It could be a good time. But I got some cool ideas that I'm exploring. So this is breaking news. Actually, I need to tell you guys. I've been having some conversations on my own about exploring. I got a couple of ideas, and one of my ideas is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to this is actually sitting down with my daughter and getting my nails painted and painting hers. That's the time. That's the con a time that we get to connect. Right. Me doing something that she loves and also that I love. Um, I give her Maddies and Petties. Growing up in the inner city of Chicago, in the hood, you're told that boys do this. <laughs> boys play football, boys play basketball, boys play baseball, boys date girls, whatever the case may be. My you're told mom. this is what Jeez, you do. You know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. At that time, I've never been, no one is in the NBA or played basketball has never been openly gay. Right, right. I've never had right. a conversation with even in our locker room openly in our locker room. So I never, I was ignorant when it comes to this space. At the time, Zaya said, "I am gay." So the teacher called at eight home, years old. At eight years old, the teacher called home and said, "Hey, I just want you guys to know we post these all over the school, but we didn't want to post this if you guys didn't blah blah blah." Right. So we sat down with the teacher and talked about the teacher at that time was a gay female. Okay. Gave Zion the confidence. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. You know, you also said recently you want to perform at Pride events. Yeah, I miss Pride Month, so I think I got one coming up on the 5th in Atlanta. I think I'll perform that one. Are you an ally? Uh, I think that's what they said I was. But, I mean, I was just so in love, but that's what that means. Yeah, I'm, I'm an ally now. You support me, love. Yeah. That's a game, man. Thank you. You oh, gay? Yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> For real? Yeah. I didn't know that. No. What's up, gang? <laughs> 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 That's what's up, bro. I did not know I was talking to you, talking to you specifically. No, 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 yeah, no, you know. Man, mark my words. I said it and I say it again. Man, a lot of these so-called black power couples, these black men that women drool over, these rappers, these athletes, a lot of these men are coming out as gay, coming out batting for the other team. Dookie shoot chitlin' divers. It's about to be slim pickings for the modern black woman. Let's talk about it. Shalom, thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, it is a shame, you know, as a masculine man, commandment keeping man, man that fears the most high Yah, it is a shame to be associated, you know, in a community, in a culture that promotes everything that is an abomination to the most high. And let me tell you something. You know, when this man sit up and was talking about he wore high heels and dresses as a kid, women, you need to pay attention to this. You need to pay attention to this. This is why men say, you know, a lot of these effeminate men that y'all see are raised by single mothers. You got the athlete who women call high value. This man wanna, this man sitting up painting his fingernails multiple colors you see what i'm saying this man is a rainbow supporter and not the rainbow uh that the most high yacht gave as a as a sign in the bible no you know i'm gonna post some pictures in here to show you that uh a lot of these couples these power couples black power couples is into some weird stuff um and i said you know and then ask him to eat your ass you did say that in the book i did yeah. um and that's how we got to teach these kids you gotta really <laughs> Get him young. Does that mean she has to eat the man's butt? I mean, if, if we're talking about, you know, equal time here, reciprocity. 
poor were you when you first made a butt? <laughs> The teddy bear. Gotcha. <laughs> the teddy bear. That teddy bear got it. Uh, from the rooter to the tutor, that teddy bear. Lift up the furry tail. <laughs> I liberated him. Don't move, bear. Yes. <laughs> no matter I what you I am enjoying this feel. bear. Uh, no. Yeah. No, I mean, listen. It's, it's all about equality. I'm just so lost because I want to know how a guy know he like his butt to be eaten out. Like who, how do you know that as a guy? You know, over my dead body, if my wife wants me to take pictures uh, dressed as some dominatrix and she's in, in, in control, like, hey, we, <laughs> I'm looking at you totally different the minute that comes out of your mouth. Check this picture out right here. This joker dressed like a whole sex slave. Listen to what I'm saying. And this is the stuff you, as, as, as women, cannot ignore. You cannot ignore this. And let me tell you something, a lot of, here's another one. A lot of y'all women like to play in a man's booty hole because it gives you control. You feel like you're in control. But guess what? You in there playing with some spirits that potentially nobody around you knows how to get rid of, knows how to cast out. You know, this man openly says, uh, He's doggone comfortable, you know, with his son being the way he is. And when you think about it, look at how the damn daddy's coming out. But he meets all your qualifications, you know, over six feet. He's six six, you know, whatever his height is. Chocolate, whole butt cheek dog. One less man y'all got on the table. And I'm telling you, a lot of these, uh, it, it shows as a woman your poor judgment in a man. You guys are so... Uh, so doggone caught up in the vanity. I value being money. You know, you don't actually know, and how, you don't actually know how to discern uh, a Yah fearing, commandment keeping man. You don't know how to discern a uh, masculine man, a man that wants to be a man based upon biblical roles. You don't know how to discern that. This world hasn't taught you that. The people in your life haven't taught you that. So you sit up and, and settle for. Uh, so you sit up and think you didn't won because you got a man like Dwayne Wade, and this man is a is a is a is a backdoor uh, diver, deep sea diver, doggone chitlin liquor, dookie shoot chaser, you know, butthole uh, excavator. This is crazy, you know. You got rappers like uh, NLE Chopper, you know, coming out the closet, coming out the closet, telling you, boy, y'all better wake up, y'all better wake up. The man that's the man that's uh, driving that trash truck, you know, for the city, been working for the city for 30 years, wear boots every day, you're gonna start looking a lot more attractive when that's the only option you got. You know, what does it say about your uh, selection of men as a woman if all the men you choose end up being effeminate? All of them meet your qualifications, but they end up being gay. They end up being bisexual. What does that say about you as a woman? You know, all the time, man, men don't have any problem where we sitting up here choosing women that, that, that turn out to be gay. No, you got more of these doggone men coming out to be, uh, you know, effeminate and homosexual. Y'all need to start paying attention to these men with these doggone manicured eyebrows. Always want their nails done. You better start paying attention. You better, I'm telling you, your best shot at getting a masculine man is sticking with what's in the book for the man that fears the most high y'all, keeps the commandments, the laws and statutes. Go to Lowe's. You can see the real men in there. Go to Home Depot. You can see the real men in there. Come out to the country. Come out to the wilderness. See, a Dwayne Wade ain't gonna make it out here. Not with no dog on painted fingernails. He ain't gonna make it out here. Working this land will break him off. Will break him off. NLE butt cheek diving chopper ain't gonna make it out here. Ain't gonna make it. Y'all gonna find out that a lot of these men that y'all think are protectors are the complete opposite. A uh, 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 doggone threat comes, that man worried about his fingernail paint chipping. Worried about his toenail paint chipping. And these men comfortably say this. I'm telling you, y'all better wake up, man. Y'all better wake up. Because uh, the way this is looking, man, I know a, a, a gang of good men that like black women. I know, I know, I know men that desire black women, good masculine men. But guess what? Most of the black women, their, their mindset, their preferences are set on worthless stuff. And it shows when you look at all of these power couples. 
you know, that, that black people say, ooh, relationship goals, power couple, the, 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 it's all jacked up, the Will Smith and the Jada. Look at that doggone pile of mess. Look at the Dwayne Wade, the Gabrielle Union. Ain't no man rushing the uh, dog gonna be with no dog on Gabrielle Union. You didn't sit up and been with this whole sissy. You know, I would not be surprised if she jumped ship. I wouldn't be surprised if she jumped ship and then plays the victim and act like she didn't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Y'all better wake up, man. It's gonna be a cold winter, cold winter. When y'all got these big old men, uh, big old effeminate men in the bed and they want you to hold them and keep them warm. And you like, what the heck? Yeah, your decision, you chose them, you chose them.